What is up, guys? It's Mr. Still Your Girl coming at you with a Supreme Commander 2 replay. Thank you guys so much for commenting and telling me what games you want to be on this channel. Company of Heroes 2 is definitely up there in the votes right now. I'm going to hit pause and have a little chat with all of you because I appreciate everything that has been done. So, Company of Heroes and Alpha Hex actually suggested... Total War Arena. It's a free game. You guys could check it out. Google Total War Arena. You should be able to find it from War Gaming. Only problem is it uses the War Gaming um, client rather than Steam. So that kind of sucks. But so Company of Heroes 2 is really up there. I have not purchased it yet. I've been dragging my feet. I'm so sorry, guys. It's been a rough. It's gonna be a rough couple of. Uh, weeks because I have a lot going on again the book the band thing and also I am I have a wedding another wedding party I'm going to be in believe it or not I know last July I told you guys I was in two and well I'm in another and then I'll be planning a wedding of my own god it's so crazy guys don't grow up it, it's much easier staying young I, of course I'm kidding but anyhow so there's company of heroes and Total War Arena. Those are the two standout games that really, really stood out in the comments. And maybe I missed one. And if I did, let me get, let me know in the comment section down below, guys. Let's say, hey, Mr. Studio Girl, you're uh, you're wrong. You missed some. Um, Forge Alliance Forever will always be one that will show up once in a while because I think somebody sent me a replay, um, an hour-long replay. I think his name is Colin. Um, thank you very much for that, by the way. I have yet to review it because he says, said it's an hour long. That is almost too long. I'm just going to have to hit plus four speed on that bad boy and hope for the best. Um, so I'm going to definitely check it out. And another person sent me a replay. Admin Mods, I think the name was, was the screen name. So thank you for that. That will, that it will be a community cast in the future. Um, so another game that I'm looking at the cast is Total War, Warhammer 2. Let me know what you guys think. There's a lot of players, and I, that game just really interests me, because thanks to Alpha Hex suggesting Total War Arena, got me to mess around with that game a little bit, and I kind of like it. It's it's pretty fun. I, I would not be opposed to casting those games at all. So nobody is interested in StarCraft 2, it sounds like, on this channel, so I won't worry about that too much. Even though I have the game, and I can cast it, things change, you know, we could, we'll could we go with the flow, you know. So I'm really interested in Total War Arena, War, uh, Total War Arena, Total War, Warcraft, um, oh my goodness, is it Warcraft? That's not Warcraft. Yeah, total different, Warhammer, there we go. Uh, total War, Warhammer 2, and... Also, Company of Heroes 2. So, if there's any other games, let me know in the comment section down below. And out of those three, if you guys don't have anything to suggest, let me know which one is your favorite. Because right now, honestly, my personal opinion is Total War Warhammer 2. Because I thought that game just looked super neat. And if there's and there's a lot of players in the Steam chart, so that's one thing. There's been a lot of suggestions that sounded really cool, but I checked the Steam chart. And they're just like maybe 100 players, maybe 33 players on one of them. I'm like, no, I can't do it, guys. There's too little. It, it, we'll be ending up in the same problem with Supreme Commander 2. And if I got a Steam key from any of those games for free, if anybody's willing to give those to me, yeah, I will definitely ex install the game and cast your match. Even though I won't know much about the game, I will probably read some guides, maybe play a few matches and figure it out. So, guys, if you want to do that, you got to hook, hook me up with the game because I'm not going to spend my own money. Again, I'm spending my own money on this stuff. So, that is something that, if you want it cast, and you really want it cast, give me a Steam key for it. That's all I have to say about that. I'm not begging for anything. I'm just saying that this is what you want. You got to make it happen. So, anyhow, enough rambling. I want to say thank you guys for all your support. And... You know, this replay here is a very, very old one that I had sitting on my computer, and I can't believe, I couldn't believe the names when I saw it. Um, I will introduce the players, and you get to react to how crazy that is. And I have one more thing to talk about that just popped in my head. Unknown Desire, I think, may have actually retired from Supreme Commander 2. 
Um, let me know in the comment comment section down below if I am wrong, Unknown Desire, because Unknown Desire answered me and he said um, either give him a couple weeks or he hasn't been playing as much to do that thing that I was asking him to do. So, you know what? That might not happen. But is Hope still playing? I want to know. Comment, hey, Hope, if you're watching this, hit me up down below and hit me up with the um, with what you want if you're a playing because Hope is one of the better players out there right now still that it's absolutely still playing at last I heard. And I was going to do a King of the Hill type thing, a best of three versus Unknown Desire and Hope. And it sounds like Unknown Desire might not be interested thus far. So if he changes his mind, hit me up in the comment section down below and let me know. And you know, don't be mad at Unknown Desire. Don't be mad at anybody who retires from this game. And that is why we're trying to change formats uh, once again, because people aren't all that interested in this game. Unknown Desire might play a different game. He might be playing a different game, and he could totally tell me what game he's playing, and maybe I'll do that. So that's what I'm saying, guys. Um, that's what we're talking about here. That's why the change, because some of the best players are retiring. So I'm sorry for the super, super long setup for this match, but I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you for telling me what games are hot in your eyes and hope and the best of three I want to have happen so please let me know if, you ha if there's another player out there who is good enough anyone down below who is good enough to go against a guy like hope let me know in the comment section and I'll and give me your email address and I'll send you the rules so I'm gonna I want to get a best of three a king of the hill maybe have that happen maybe once a month, maybe a best of three between some great players to keep them playing and to keep the game still interested. I'm sorry for all the rambling at the beginning of the, of the video, but you know what, guys? I have to tell you some stuff. We have to get things going, so hopefully this video won't be too long. And let's get on with that match. The map is, of course, Open Palms, and I got this replay back in 2015. Could you believe that, guys? One year after I started casting, so I hit that play button. And I'm super sorry it hasn't come out. I... It's almost three been three years since this has been sent to me. So the players are definitely retired. And again, that is why I have had this long talk. And I've been talking about these things throughout the the throughout the this new year because this game has been well definitely dying. So hitting that play button, let's go guys. So the first player is Jarek. Alpha and Omega. Alpha and Omega. Alpha, Jarek, Omega, however you want to pronounce it. I'm just going to call him Jarek. He is spawning in as the blue Cyber Commander. He is doing a triple Land Factory build. That is the way I like it. And again, he is the blue Cyber player. Triple Land Factory, getting all the eco all day long. So his opponent is get ready for this, guys. Red Arrow. Can you believe that? Red Arrow. I got a replay from Red Arrow. And, you know, I thought Red Arrow was a girl because he had a a uh, avatar of a female on there. So, I'm thinking Red Arrow might actually be a guy, might be catfishing us, and that is totally fine. He or she is... Let me know in the comment section down below if you prefer to go by he or she, Red Arrow. Whichever you prefer. But right now I'm going to call you he because I called you she in the past and I don't want to offend you. I just heard you might be a guy, so let me know what you think. He is spawning in as the red Aeon Commander. He is doing a triple land factory, kind of delaying that third factory by building it up here to try to put some, give some defense to that mass extractor that's going to be built, going to be able to get some tactical missile launchers to stop any point defense um, creep that may happen here. So, already is Jarek. I'm going to speed this bad boy up to plus three because I rambled. Don't want this video to be too too long, but we want it to be long enough for everybody to enjoy. Maybe I should have talked after the video, but I actually really want you guys to hear it. So, yeah, maybe someone will put a timestamp where you can pass that up if you so, so desire in the comment section so hopefully somebody could help you all out with that because I'm definitely not going to do it because I want you to hear what I have to say. So anyhow, Jarek doing some old school cyber flanking, making 
Red Arrow spread his units out just like this, which is which could very well be dangerous. Remember what I may have said in previous videos, something called defeat in detail. So there goes a mass extractor, a big win there for Jarek. A big loss there for for Red Arrow. But Red Arrow might rebuild on, will be rebuilding on that wreckage, so it's not a huge deal. Red Arrow is expanding. Probably not the best thing to do against a... Is Red Arrow repairing his units? Very, very wise thing to do. Repairing his units, not microwing them at all, but Jarek definitely is. So Red Arrow needs to repair this mass, extract, mass extractor. That mass extractor almost went pop. Now this is what I mean by defeat in detail. You take your enemies... Well, it wasn't exactly that. So, defeat in detail entails using smaller groups of units, able to move them faster on the field, destroying that engineer, wow. Move them faster in the field, and then consolidating and attacking the enemy when you outnumber them. That is something that you're able to do when your enemy greatly outnumbers you, and you force them to spread out by spreading out yourself. But keeping your units close enough and so that they could recombine, but your opponents cannot. So you could smash their units one by one. So this is a something that I don't understand why Red Arrow is allowing. Now this sneaky little group of units are just going in here, causing the right hand flank right here to be completely exposed. These units right here are going to be able to get some nice net juicy kills there. These three are going to combine up. And again, that's the feat in detail right there. This unit is greater than that unit. And a battle would would win, would be in Jarek's favor. However, Red Arrow combined his units. Now, this is not favorable for Jarek. Jarek needs to get out of there. Red Arrow doesn't really seem to care about what's going on. He is expanding happily over there in the left-hand flank. So, very smart move. Some energy generators... Going up, maybe we'll see some megalith play. Now, right now, Red Arrow is operating with... Ooh, nice job. Nicely done there by Jarek. A unit detonate blasting all of Red Arrow's units. And again, I slowed it down a little bit because this game is just uh, quite intense. Now, there was a really good move there. Blinding Red Arrow's center eyeballs right there. And that's being rebuilt on the wreckage, which is a extremely smart thing to do. And the left flank has a radar. Interesting place for a point defense, but I think that was to prevent any bot shenanigans from happening. I really do not like that word shenanigans. I do not know why I just said that. But whatever. You guys, let me down in the comment section down below if you like that word. I do not. So that might be one of the... Last times I be I'll be saying that now Jarek kind of putting this factory out of place. I would like to see it, see it pressed against this mass extractor to give it some sort of defense, but we have Brackman coming out on the field for Jarek. This area right here is going to be very well defended, and if there was a mass extractor, these Brackman sometimes are able to reach it from right here or right here. So must tell you, Brackman are very very annoying. Now, Jarek getting out some air units. I would like to see them put in back to be hidden. That would be probably the smartest thing. No research stations out there for Red Arrow, but there is one research station out for Jarek. Jarek is researching regeneration and something else that I could not read fast enough because it was super small text and it popped up very quickly. So, it looks like Jarek may be on the path to, I don't know, Megalith? That's probably what's going to happen here. Now, we got two units being super obnoxious, just going in there. Uh, the regeneration keeps Jarek's units alive. That guy has been on red for way too long. Now, those two units, units aren't doing a whole lot of damage, but they are taking away... Red Arrow's attention from what's going on here. Just a little bit. Now, this mass, ex mass extractor might not go down. Red Arrow has double shields on the tanks. These tanks are very, very high. You say, 
tanky. That mass extractor went down right as that loyalist went down. That was quite a race. Now, we have a battle here in the middle. The Brackman distracted these Yenzus just enough so that this mass extractor could go down for the second or third time. I have lost count on how many times that one died. That's, this is a very much so contested area, and so is right here. These are two majorly contested areas. And it appears that Red Arrows was focusing on the Brackman, trying not to get blasted by Brackman fire. The shields on these units definitely helping out with that, but three bots were able to get by. Now, it looks like things are definitely in the favor of of Jarek. Jarek is definitely ha ahead on mass and not ahead on the unit count. I don't see why Jarek isn't building a whole bunch of of factories. He could have probably crushed Red Arrow at this moment if that were the, th the case. Now, up here is an unfortunate loss here for Jarek. Jarek had one unit just get gunned down. He didn't even have a chance. Now, these four units need to get the heck out of there. Now, it looks like Red Arrow switched to Harvogs. A very much so interesting choice. And like I said, Megalith 2 are on the field. Now, I think these Harvogs got switched to because the bombers got seen. They got scouted, I'm thinking, maybe even by radar. And that is why you want to build air in back so the enemy can't scout and see what you got here. So we got a bunch of Brackmen. Brackmen, uh, Harvogs are decent counters against Brackmen if you micro them well enough. Now we got bots in here and no tanks. Taking out, ooh, structure detonate. Nicely done by Jarek. But that is a lot of mass given up for such a thing. But, however, it's better to lose some mass than to lose all your factories needlessly. Red Arrow has his bots here. Oh, a structure detonate. Forced a structure detonate there. That was another mass extractor loss. Very well done there with the structure detonate with Jarek. Jarek almost forced the structure detonate. I, that would have been funny to see. Now, Jarek has nothing to stop this, this gantry from going down. But a megalith, I think half-baked. Looks, yeah, looks like it's half-health. Smart thing to do is get it out. Just get it out there but instead of letting it die. Didn't do a whole lot against those shielded Harvogs. Shielded Harvogs are very, very strong. So it looks like Jarek is in a very bad position here. Now, all of these, there are so many factories. There are so many factories queued up. This allows the engineer now to expand. See, Red Arrow may be having the fight over on their enemy side, but Red Arrow remembers to expand and continually build factories. That is the smart thing to do. Now, Harvogs are there probably to counter the speed of the Loyalists, because I think Harvogs may either be the same speed or just a little bit faster. They might be faster because of the teleport. I, I think teleport really does something for those units. Now, do you see how those Harvogs teleported away? Or is that another group of, of Harvogs? I'm sorry, I did not see it. But anyway, we got another dead gantry for Jarek. That is an unfortunate loss. Now, it'd be really great if Jarek got up a gantry, got up a couple megaliths. I would like to see how Red Arrow would respond to that. Now, a good idea for Jarek to do would be to maybe get out the nanobot weapon. That might do an, a little bit more damage than really support the troops and get some nano... Excuse me, I'm stretching. Get some nanobot weapons out and just do some massive damage. That's a bit of a miss micro there over in this area by Red Arrow. Losing all those units of structure detonate. However, that is causing mass more 
maybe mass issues. I don't know if Jarek is having mass issues or not, but possible mass issues. Again, structure detonate forcing those. Oh, that structure detonate barely got those units, and a few were able to live. Now, that's an unfortunate thing, because just, just the, these two alone could do a whole lot of damage. Now, lots of things going down here. You could see two research stations that have been killed. Um, the units... My goodness, look at all that Brackman fire. Is that doing enough damage? No, not quite. And they're missing quite a bit, but it looks like... Jarek has finally got this area back on lock. He owns, he, he said, get out of my base. Just get the heck out of my base. So Jarek needs to keep his units, just push back and keep it cool for a little bit. There's only one factory left for Jarek besides the two gantries. So Jarek seriously has to do something with this megalith that popped out. This megalith has to stay alive. There's no if, ands, or buts about that. There is no way that Jarek could not. I think the nanobot weapon is out, which would help with a DPS against these units. Now, ha you tr Jarek tried to half bake the the megalith, but these bots just out DPS the speed in which that was coming out. Jarek. Looking very lonely, looking very, well, halfway in health, but that Megalith just got eaten alive there, and it, it doesn't look like Jarek has a DPS to stop this assault. The Nanobot weapon was a good choice, however, he should have had, he should have other units to support his commander. Is there any factories? There's only one factory there for Jarek to reinforce but Red Arrow has taken over the map and has four air factories queued up and is also expanding into the left flank there. So it appears that Jarek is does not have much to deal with what is going on here. Jarek, you can see the dynamic power shunt. And boom! Down goes Jarek. I was expecting that, actually, because there was not much to deal with this onslaught here. There's one, and even a follow-up wave right there. That is not enough, unless Jarek had overcharge and was able to take out these first unit, this first group of units here, and if he's able to keep his units alive, he'd have a fighting chance to take out these units right there, and maybe even overcharge them. But Jarek would have to have some engineers, he would definitely, most, most definitely have to build up some factories, and... If Red Arrow wanted to, he could have just waited a little bit for air support, and that probably would have been it either way. So it looked like Jarek was winning there in the beginning, like he was raiding, taking out some mass extractors, put taking away from Red, Arrow, Red Arrow's attention, but Jarek just sub somehow succumbed to Red Arrow's ability to consolidate and stay cool under that much pressure. Because that was a whole lot of pressure, and lots of times mass extractors were destroyed. So that was at least four or five times for, like, two mass extractors. Like, this one up here was killed at least twice, and this one was taken out, this one right here, taken out at least twice. So that was a very painful thing, and I think another one was destroyed right about. This one might have been destroyed earlier, too, right here. So that was a lot of losses there. In the beginning. Now. Oh yeah. And Red Arrow already had this left flank here. This area here. That belonged, that was supposed to be one of Jarek's expansions. Was taken over. So that's a really. That's a major insult here. This much of the map. This is the map control. This is really the line. Right here was no. Not really all that safe. Because a, a, a factory could have been built right here. Or here. And. Now you got reinforcements streaming in. So there's not a whole lot Jarek could have done at this point, it looks like. So Jarek did really, really, really well, especially there in the beginning, stopping, harassing Red Eric. I love that cyber and harassment that worked really, where, where, really well 
and Red Arrow did a really awesome job staying cool in that situation and pushing back and indeed winning the match. There Red Arrow is. So Red Arrow, let me know if you're a male or female or want to be called he or she or it or whatever you want, whatever you're down with. So anyhow, guys, let me know in the comment section down below if you're interested in Company of, a company of Heroes 2, Total War Arena, or Total War, what would you call it? Total War, Warhammer 2. So let me know, guys, and I definitely would be interested in getting replays from you guys. And still, Forge Alliance Forever, I am still open to casting that, and same with Planetary Annihilation. I will definitely cast that one as well. As long as they're good games, that's what I'm really interested in. So feel free to send them. Anyone who has sent me a replay recently, that's two of you that I mentioned before, I will be reviewing and I will be making final de decisions. But I will probably cast the Supreme Commander 2 one as a community cast. The um, the one that I I got back to admin mods already about that. So Connor, just just wait a little bit. And you already told me it's an hour long. That's going to be really hard for me to 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 make happen. But I might be able to make it happen. So just give me some time. But anyhow, again, Hope, let me know if you are down to play that King in the Hill. It sounded like you were. Uh, let me know if you want to, to find an opponent who's good enough to take you on, who may lose, who may win or even may lose. It doesn't, it, it does matter. I want a decent match. Unknown Desire was definitely that guy. He might have actually, he might have, he might have won. Not trying to talk crap, but Unknown Desire here is very, very good. So Unknown Desire, let me know if you change your mind and want to do that match. But we understand if you retired. So Hope is definitely one of the best players right now, and so is Unknown Desire. So no problem there. And and still send your replays to me. Send your Forge Alliance Forever, Planetary Annihilation, and definitely your Supreme Commander 2 replays, because Supreme Commander 2 is very easy for me to cast, because I already know what is going on. So again, let me know what games you want to check out. So I'm going to conclude this video, because it might already be super long. So like this video, subscribe to my channel, channel favorite it because that helps me out, and send your good replays to still speaks, still speaks at gmail.com. Comment down below your game preference out of the three, or even tell me a new one, whatever you feel like doing, and be sure to check out my Patreon. It's in the com in the description down below. Send me some cash if you feel so if you so feel the desire to support me and if you definitely want me to cast the game from that i already said you know there's not enough players send me that steam key or send me money to buy it and i'll and i'll and i'll do it i'll buy the game i can't promise any casts but let's just say it's more than likely if i really don't understand the game i'm sorry but at least we tried but there's a good chance that i will do it and i probably will do it because well you gave me money. That's just how it goes. It's how life works, unfortunately. But definitely, as a YouTuber who's trying to make things good things happen for himself, I definitely need to do that. So let me know if you're interested. Anyhow, I think it's time for share for me to say share. So be sure to share with your friends, family, and foes. And as of, as always, everyone, G G.